latest on that march. Our reporter Vanessa Puna standing by. Vanessa, good afternoon. If you can hear me, perhaps you could bring us up to speed as to what is happening on your end as we speak. We're seeing heavy police visibility. Yes, good afternoon to you. And at the moment, um, what you can see on the visuals behind us is, of course, a police water cannon um, letting off this, of course, follows uh, scuffles between uh, a church group, or church, a conglomeration of church groupings, which were meant to have a prayer service here today in support of Israel. Um, uh, that, ca that event has been cancelled after uh, there were clashes between pro-Palestinian supporters as well as uh, those church groupings that were meant to have that uh, prayer service. Now, I can tell you at the moment that police have earlier fired stun grenades to keep the crowd or to try and attempt to keep the crowd under control. What you see at the moment is, of course, hundreds of pro-Palestinian uh, supporters um, literally um, coming onto the space. Um, you'll see also that we have uh, numbers of police officers. Sir, you are, you are here to, to support Palestine. Tell us why you are here. What is... You're supporting Palestine, man. That is what the DI do. This is what a DI do. Down with the DA. Down with the DA, man. Sir, 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 can you explain to us? Can you explain to us, sir? Um, there was a huge protest in Cape Town yesterday. Uh, also a pro-Palestinian protest. Why, why did you come back here today? We need to, yeah, we need to uh, counter. We need to counter the DA. I mean the, the, the Israeli. Thank you so much. Okay, just one voice there from the pro-Palestinian uh, supporters. I'll try and get you another pro-Palestinian supporter. Sir, good afternoon to you. You're live on SABC. Um, can you tell me? Can you tell me why you've come out here today, sir? That is why. Because that's happening to our brothers and sisters in Palestine. Of course, we've just had some more stun grenades go off. We'll try and move closer um, to understand what exactly um, has taken place to to prompt police to let us stun. Early on, we also we see projectiles being thrown at the police vehicle, and there the water cannon being used again on protesters, um, pro-Palestinian protesters here in Cape Town. Um, police and metro police officers are, are on the scene, and the crowd of supporters uh, do not seem to be joining at, at waning at all. Another round of um, uh, water being sprayed from this police cannon. Um, uh, not proving to be a deterrent at this stage. I'll just, uh, I still see some more projectiles being thrown towards the police vehicle. Um, let's try and get closer um, to give, give you some of those visuals. Uh, situation at this point in time, uh, tense here in Seapoint uh, in Cape Town. We'll keep you on um, our visuals as we try and reflect what's taking place on the ground here. Of course, you can see sun grenades at the moment as the as the police move in with the with the water cannon as well as with the with the vehicles as well um there of course you'll see the police line behind me um law enforcement and metro police officers uh, uh